Hello and welcome to another Forza Horizon 4 video. Now, recently Aston Martin have released a new version of their baby sports car, the Vantage, with some interesting changes including styling and the way it's driven. So I've been out to see exactly what it's like. The new Vantage can go from 0 to 60 in just 3.5 seconds, which means it will be able to outrun most of its rivals. In fact, 3.5 seconds to 60 miles an hour is heading out of sports car territory and into supercar territory. Some seriously impressive stuff. The new Vantage can hit 195 miles an hour with help from a 4 litre twin turbocharged Mercedes V8 engine. However, don't think that taking engines from Mercedes is a bad thing because their V8 engine, well, it's pretty magnificent. However, don't think that this new Vantage is all about straight line speed. This is the smallest sports car that Aston Martin currently makes, so it's agile and has good grip around the corners. Couple that with the amazing styling you've got on this car, and I think what you've got is a recipe for the best V8 sports car you can buy today. Except, he is wrong! This is the Mercedes AMG GTS, and it is the original owner of the engine in the Aston, and it looks just so much better. It fits more, it sounds better, it just works better with the Mercedes. Also, when it comes to engines, you can have the Mercedes Formula 1 team and the Williams Formula 1 team run the same engine, but one is just a lot worse. No, no, you. <laughs> You got to go further I didn't know we were going to slam on the brakes like that. <laughs> I thought you wanted us in the middle, Louis. <laughs> there wasn't much direction to that, and we still managed to f*** it up. <laughs> I don't know what you're on about. The Aston Martin is probably one of the best looking cars that's on sale today, and your car just looks kind of boring, really. It's an AMG! There's nothing boring about an AMG! The Mercedes has grunt and... was better. Oh, for God's sake, when will Forza Horizon 4 have private lobbies so we can stop being interrupted by randoms in videos? So, the Morgan Aero GT. A su stupendous plank of wood with a 362 horsepower BMW V8 under its remarkably large bonnet. You've got to be kidding me. You're not seriously what? suggesting that is better than these. But it's light. And this is an Why iconic have... design that has lasted for decades. And that's Why what's bad about it. Why does cheese graters on, on the fenders? <laughs> cheese graters. It does have a cheese grater. Those, those are specially placed vents for air. <laughs> Great in cheese. After some more arguing, Cheese great in Morgan. Cheese greater. Wooden cheese greater. We decided to head out on the road to see which one of our cars was actually best. So, the Mercedes AMG GTS. It has a big V8 out front producing 503 horsepower. It can get to 60 in just 3.6 seconds with a top speed of 197 miles an hour. That Morgan is definitely not going to be able to keep up with it. The Aston is probably going to be pushed for its uh, money as well, but the Aston is using the same engine and the Morgan is using a German BMW engine, therefore the Mercedes is just better because it's German anyway and it's not taking part from the Germans because it is German. I don't know what those two are on about saying that this thing can't keep up with them, because I have a sneaking suspicion that in some of the challenges we're going to attempt today, the Morgan is going to be an underdog that just dominates in some of these challenges because you know it can go 0 to 60 in 4.1 seconds and it has a top speed of 184 miles per hour and for a lump of wood that's not too bad so for the first challenge while it may look like we're all lined up for a drag race we're not for once for the first challenge we're doing something a little bit different 
as you can see we're here on the beach and we're going to try and get up to the highest speed as we can uh, in our cars and stop within a little kind of tarmac zone uh, down at the bottom of this beach drag strip kind of like the license tests on Gran Turismo um, where you've got to stop within a zone. Um, this is just who dares goes the fastest and still stop within the zone, if that makes any sense. So, we've decided that the Morgan's gonna go first. What? Yeah. Why? Why? Because we thought it'd be funny to see all the sand go into your face. Oh. Okay then. Okay, so are you ready in the Morgan? Yep. Okay, in three, two, one, go! Getting the power down quite nicely now. Oh, that was point. okay. Early oh, shot. Well, I'll say third. that. 120. No idea when to break. I'm probably gonna undershoot. 130. Fifth gear. 140. It's like a rocket. There's cool. 150. I can see the lights. I'm gonna break. There it goes. And yeah, I'm on the brakes. I'm still on the yeah, brakes. That's too short. Nah, it's too I mean, short. pretty close. Barely. You're only a, like a few barriers off. But what speed was that? Mm -hmm. Somewhere in the 150s. The Flying Scotsman, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> okay, three, two, one, go! Come on, just full throttle. That's 140 into sixth gear. There's the lights, there are the lights, 155. Uh, I don't know, 163 I saw there. Can I get stopped? Can I? No! No, he's overshot! <laughs> uh, I don't know if... I don't know if that's closer or not. But I think that is a little... Actually... It's a know. little bit closer, I think. We might be quite equal, you actually, from where I'm looking. We are a bit equal. So I guess now, if Lewis gets this, he's definitely won. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. No pressure then. <laughs> <laughs> Manchester, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Half slow. Get the traction down. And <laughs> <off>. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. See, lots of power in the Mercedes. It is very heavy. So maybe that will be going for me when it comes to being on the brakes. But it might work against me. Here we go though, there's 140, I don't feel like I can accelerate it very quickly, 145, 150, 155, the lights are coming up, 160, I want to break, 163! Oh, oh yes! <laughs> oh! <laughs> so we got oh, to the exact same speed I did, but interestingly, he's, he actually stopped on it. Yes. Well, there you go. The Mercedes apparently has better brakes. See, he's got experience driving. I got the heart going. I thought, no, I've always shot that. No, no, no. That was good. You were close. <laughs> yeah. I was very close to the edge. But, I'm on. So, for the next challenge, we're doing something we've done before, only a little bit different. Um, we're basically going to be doing a lap around Arthur's seat, chair. Um, and going to be asking each other questions. <laughs> and whoever gets the uh, the questions wrong gets a second added to their time. However, sometimes we would, when we did this before, we did just random general knowledge questions. This time we've all picked a kind of specialist subject, something that we all three know a decent amount about, and we're going to be asked questions about that. So, Louis, you've picked uh, to be asked questions about star set, something I know nothing about, but I'm going to ask you the questions anyway. I've got a quiz up online here. Right, are you both ready? Stop with the stopwatch and stuff. Yes! No. Right, three, two, one, go. Oh, you. When did, the <laughs> <laughs> when did the album Transmissions come out? 2014. Yep. Uh, finish lyrics. Uh, let it fall away into the great escape over walls and wait this blank. Okay. Far from the sun where no one knows I've watched you from my. Telescope. That's right. Okay, I think that's a close oh. <laughs> Gee, I've gone the wrong way. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God's sake. I've actually, I've lost your own thing of him because I was, I was oh, totally concentrating oh. on asking the questions. Have you finished? I'm back on track. That was Not a bit yet, of a no. mess, though. Has he still <laughs> not finished? Where's he gone? 
I went off the path by accident. He didn't get any questions wrong, but he's gone the wrong way. And that is penalty enough, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's coming around now. Here he comes. In the Morgan. And across the way. Crosses the line in a time of 1 minute and 48 seconds. You actually. Wait, I didn't actually say this, I've completely forgot to say. The benchmark car was a BMW M5, that got a time of 1 minute 24. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez! Oh! <laughs> so you are way out. No oh, penalties though, so you know, just little wins and everything. Hell. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get any questions okay. wrong, that's a win enough yeah, for me. that is a win. I will go next. Hopefully not humiliate myself as much. So for my run, Lewis is going to be asking me questions about the show Top Gear, because I know quite about quite a bit about that, and hopefully I won't humiliate myself like I have in past challenges when we've asked each other questions. So are you ready with the questions and stopwatch whoever's doing that? Got the stopwatch ready, but the questions ready. To go. Cool. Right, in three, two, one. Go! Right, the first question. At the end of season 21, there have been how many sticks since the beginning of the series? Uh, th three. Yes, you are right. Yeah. Uh, in season 4, episode 3, the £100 car challenge, Clarkson won due to his car costing how much money? One pound. You are right. He was. Oh no. Uh, okay. many? Oh yeah, oh yeah. He was the first star in the reasonably priced car of. Like the whole of Top Gear, like since Harry Enfield. Yes. So, what would you invited to participate in which segment? Star and Rizzi Price Car. <laughs> oh God. Yes. Yeah. Before 2007, which commonly known Top Gear host was not in Top Gear? Before 2007, uh, it was mm -hmm. Jason Daw? No. The question is, who was it in before 2007? Before I don't know. Pass. It's James May. James May. James you do. Oh, yes. Okay. Anyway, you're coming up to the line now. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> so you got one incorrect. Um, yeah. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't think you fully understood the question. Oh no, actually, you were <laughs> no, right. I, I misunderstood it. You were right. Ha! You got not incorrect. <laughs> I was right. Um, what yeah, was the BMW's Dull. time? The, the M5's time was a 124.8. The Aston got a bit a time of one minute twenty five point one. Oh no! <laughs> I mean, I did have quite. A bit that of was that mini's fault. Run. The mini, yeah. I just had to swerve out right the way of it. But again, no questions wrong. So now it's Lewis's go. Okay, go. so for Lewis's run, he's being asked questions about Doctor Who. Um, the time to beat currently is still the BMW M5 at 124.8. My time, 125.1. Lewis' time, well, they got lost, so that's kind of irrelevant, really. <laughs> so, are you ready? <laughs> I am. Right, uh, yeah, I'm ready. Let's just go for it. Do you want to wait for that to be clear? Yeah, we'll <laughs> they're just bumping into <laughs> each other. They're just, they're just bumping oh, into each other. Just bumping into each other. The AI just don't know what reverse gear is. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> Another one's getting involved. Uh, <laughs> Three, two, one, go! What is Shen 7? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, that oh, is yeah, obviously it's, wrong. It's an animal, but I have, I have no idea what the actual species is. Carry it's on. It's not an animal. Okay, what were the last words that the 10th Doctor said in the end of time part 2 before he regenerated? Go. Yep, yeah, that's, 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 true. that's correct. What was the name Henry Van Staten gave to his prize captured alien? Paul. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was Dalek. <laughs> what is the name of the most invaded planet in the galaxy? Earth. It's not right. Either. Oh god, I'm gonna get lost there. No, it was Exeus. Which Shakespeare That's, uh, play in one of the Doctor and Martha watching in the Shakespeare Code? Oh, I know this one. I think it's to do with witches. Um, I don't know Shakespeare. That's the only problem. I know the episode. <laughs> I don't know Shakespeare. <laughs> Carry on. All right, fine. In the time of in the time of angels, the Doctor mentions that he's um, on which famous author's book? Oh yeah. Time. 
Ooh. Ooh. He got one right. It was um, and he got three fours and speed. Five. <laughs> five wrong. <laughs> so that's five second penalty then. Five second penalty. So, yep. your time without the penalty was a 125.6. Ooh, oh, damn it, speed didn't work. <laughs> You're not even, not even faster than me. So that's what a one, one twenty, uh, one thirty point six. So I win something. So the Aston's got one. Mercedes Can one. I? Well, right. technically we all lose because we none of us beat the benchmark. That's a good point. Yeah. But I was the quickest. <laughs> I was just doing that. <laughs> I, I went because I didn't get Aston wrong. None did I. But you got lost. <laughs> <laughs> but you did get lost, so that's very much not a win. So for the final challenge, we come to a circuit race. Um, yeah, we're just going to see who can go the fastest around this track. It does have walls on the side, so uh, so thankfully Tiger might not be able to get lost in the Morgan. However, there is still a chance that you could Oi. take a wrong churning and go off the road. <laughs> Look at the corner speed. I mean, come on. Yep. There we go, we're side by side as we come down. Oi! That's oh. not... <laughs> just hit me off the road. Now <laughs> send it. <laughs> come on, keep it on the outside, keep out the cobblestone. Oh yes. That's a late break there, I can see smoke. It must have broken down. Nope. Go on sideways everywhere, what's he doing? To the right, unless he just covers the <laughs> life. He backs the match, but that's a No! Why don't you yeah. say, my jolly old fellow, why don't you buzz off? <laughs> <laughs> so heavy. Oh, you can really feel the weight of this thing. That was an awful exit. Stop! Each other I didn't hit you. The two Brits. Uh, <laughs> oh really? I'm going to forget. British civil what? This is Brexit. This is what Brexit does. <laughs> the Scottish <laughs> and the Welsh are now fighting. Okay, that was a lovely inside line as we go into the final lap. That was terrible. Side by side just once again. Alongside. Don't squeeze me, out. Don't squeeze me out. Squeeze me out. Where is the Mercedes? In second place, technically. It's got a Mercedes, everything except for. <laughs> you just decided that I'm. I'm the Mercedes. Yes. Yes. No, I've got some oh, more to do for the Aston. Come on, little Morgan. 500 horses. Come on. That was a really it's wide lost. line into there. Yeah, it was. Come on. Oh, Put the power down. Go. Gonna take victory no. in <laughs> Broadway. <sighs> Wow. I've decided second. it doesn't count. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is that, Lewis? <laughs> because the Mercedes <laughs> isn't built for that. Is it not? <laughs> so in all three of those challenges, we won one each. So uh, we've learned absolutely nothing from these. <laughs> so I guess now it's, it's down to which can go the quickest around the track. So here we are back at Fortune Island to find exactly that out. Now just quickly, I think my favourite part of that challenge that we did was when we were at the beach doing that speed challenge. Me and Tiger had both completely failed and missed the zone. Um, so Lewis could well have just gotten up to like 30 miles an hour, hit the brakes and then won. Um, but no, he went up to 160 and just about missed uh, missed the zone, so I found that pretty entertaining. Although Tiger getting lost was pretty good as well. So as you can see, uh, we've got all three cars going around the Moorhead Super Circuit, which if you don't know is my test track in Horizon 4. Um, and surprisingly, the Mercedes and the Aston, despite having the same engine, they drive quite differently. They're very similar weights, although I think the Aston is a little bit heavier, or a little bit lighter, sorry. But weirdly, the Mercedes seems to have more front-end grip. It kind of darts into corners a bit better than the Aston does. And the Morgan, surprisingly it being a Morgan, drives like it should be on a track most of the time. <laughs> it really does drive well on a track, it suits it uh, yeah, quite nicely. The, the Aston Martin does understeer a bit, as you can see here, the, the Mercedes was more preferred to oversteer in the first corner, it did kind of slide off onto the grass as well. I think the Morgan was probably the, it felt the most comfortable on the track, certainly. Um, it just felt so, so grippy. It does fall down the straight line speed though, because it only has like 360 something horsepower, I think, uh, whereas the other two have 500. 
um, but we're coming to the finish line now. Overall, I think all three cars do drive really nicely, they all have good grip. Uh, as I said, I would like a little bit more front end kind of responsiveness from the Aston, the Mercedes had that, but the back end was a bit loose. Anyway, here are the lap times. It's the bottom three we're focusing on today, and well, as you can see, the Mercedes and the Aston pretty much inseparable, three hundredths of a second. That could, that could well just have been down to driver error, to be honest. But the Morgan is the standout one. One minute 12.5 from the Morgan, one minute 13.3 from the Aston, one minute 13.4 from the Mercedes. Yeah, you can really tell just from those lap times that the Morgan was, was the one that felt the most comfortable on the track and is best on track. So you'd imagine that's that. The Morgan Aero GT is the best German V8 engine sports car you could get. Well, not quite, because earlier on I took the BMW M5 around the track to see what time it would get, and it got a 1 minute 14.7. Now, yeah, that's not quite as quick as the Morgan, Aston or Mercedes went round, but let's not forget that all three of those cars cost upwards of £140,000 whereas the BMW M5 costs below £90,000 and the M5 has four doors, four wheel drive and 600 brake horsepower. So if you want a German V8 engine sports car, don't go for any of the three we just spent 20 minutes testing, go for the BMW M5. Only the best consumer advice on this channel. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you already to my channel. But until the next video, goodbye. This is Brexit.